Hello everybody, I recently got a comment on one of my videos from a user, user Lego Lover 123321 uh, and he posted a question asking how do I import 3DS files? I've tried the import button on file then import but it didn't work. Can you help me? And the answer is I sure hope I can. Um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with what 3DS files are, uh, they're a format uh, for 3D Studio Max uh, which most of you are probably familiar with at least uh, in name if you haven't used it before. Now 3D Studio Max saves projects as .max files. Blender can't work with .max files, at least not last I checked, but it, it can import 3DS files which is within a .max file uh, you can export objects individually as 3DS files and Blender, as I just said, can work with those. Uh, to get a, a a file to work with uh, just for this tutorial. I just did a Google search for free 3DS files and uh, you'll get a bunch of pages uh, on Google. Uh, just pick one and here's one I just found just at random and if I zoom in here you'll see that uh, a lot of the files uh, are 3DS files. You'll have some there dot max. Once again we can't work with those in Blender. Um, but uh, once you find a model you like and it's a 3DS file, just click on it. Now I do want to mention that uh, depending on what you're going to use this for, just because the site says it's free to download doesn't mean it's free for you to use for anything. If you're going to be using this for commercial use or something of that aspect, you want to check the licensing on what you're downloading if you didn't create it yourself. So that's something important to do. Uh, just because it's free doesn't mean it's free to use whatever, however you want to use it. You have to see what you're allowed to use it in. Anyway, I am going to click here where it says download. It's going to download it in a, a zip file. So I'm going to use my archive manager to extract that. I choose it. I'll extract it. And I'm just going to put it in my home directory for now. Extract. Extract. There we go. Now I'm going to go into Blender. And uh, just as the user said, I, I click File import and I choose 3ds file. Now uh, I find the file which is right here in my home directory and I'll click import 3ds. Now it asks you what you want to do with the size constraint. Default is 10 so I leave it at that and image search is clicked. I'm assuming if that's any textures inside the 3ds file it will try to find those. I'm going to click OK and it imports it. Uh, I'm going to move the lighting here and render it out so you can see it. I'll hit F12 and you'll see that we have that little kitchen that we just downloaded. Now, um, so I'm not sure what uh, error or problem uh, Lego Lover is getting. Um, if Lego Lover or any other user that tries this gets an error, uh, let me know. Post it in the comments. I'll do my best to search and find out what that error is caused by. Um, I'm hoping that uh, that it, maybe it's just the one model that you're trying and maybe there's some problem with that, that uh, model. Um, if you're not getting an error, the only thing I can think is possibly, depending on the, the model itself, uh, let me grab all these to show you what I'm going to say. Sometimes things are very proportionated, proportionated weird. Uh, when you import them. And that's why you have that option for size constraint when you're importing it. And I'm thinking maybe the model's importing really small, like we're looking at here, where it's so small maybe you're not seeing it inside the project. Or there could be a possibility that uh, it imported and it imported way off to the side and you're not noticing it. So if you're not getting an error, those are two things to look for. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe, it's been a while since I used 3D Studio Max. Perhaps there's a new version of 3D Studio Max and the newer 3DS files aren't Blender compatible yet. I haven't read that, but that's just something I'm thinking. Because when you move from version to version of, of software, they add new features and, and sometimes reconstruct how the files are saved. And uh, quite possibly, maybe there's a compatibility, compatibility issue with 3DS files that are being exported from a certain version of uh, 3D Studio Max. So those are some thoughts there. I'm not really sure what problem you're coming across. Once again, anyone else having problems, please post them in the comments. 
And uh, if you're getting an error, please post the comment uh, error in the comments so I can try looking that up for you and do my best to help you because I wish I could help you. Uh, for more video tutorials like this, visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. The link is in the description. Have a great day.